Hi, Adventure Team. Here we are doing our fitness testing today. We're going to start off with our cardiovascular fitness to measure our heart's health and how well it delivers the nutrients throughout our body. So to do this, we're going to do the three-minute step test. Step one of the three-minute step test, find a 12-inch bench. Step two, set a metronome on your phone to 96 beats per minute and listen to the rhythm. Step three of this test is to get a little workout in by stepping up and down according to the cadence on your metronome for three minutes. If at any time you burn out and you can't quite make it to three minutes, don't worry, go ahead and stop and record how long you were able to do the three minute step test. This will now be your score. If you make it all the way through your three minute step test, then you wanna find your one minute heart rate immediately afterwards. You're going to sit down and use two fingers to find the pulse in your neck. You're gonna count each beat for 60 seconds. Record that score and that's your three minute step test score. All right guys, now it's time to measure our muscular strength. So we're gonna measure the strength of our pectoralis major, or our chest muscle, the largest muscle in our upper body. And to do that, we're going to do push-ups. Go to a 90 degree angle and straight back up. And the cadence is down, one, up, one. Down, two, up, two. You guys are going for as long as you can and trying to see how many push-ups you can do. To do the pull-up test, you guys will start with your arms fully extended and you're going to get up off the ground, get a pull-up in, and then extend at the elbows again. See how many you guys can get of the pull-ups? to test your bicep brachii strength. All right guys, after pull-ups, you guys are gonna move to curl-ups. And curl-ups, we're testing our endurance and strength of the rectus abdominis. You're gonna do arms across your chest, and you're gonna find a teammate to either stand on your feet, or you can wedge your feet underneath a couch at home to give yourself some leverage. Curling up and tapping your arms to your thighs and just back down. Curl up and back down. Time yourself, see how many you guys can get in one minute and that will be your curl up score. Test number five is called the sit and reach test. For this test, you're gonna measure the flexibility of your hamstrings. You wanna get a ruler and put your fingers right on top of each other. You're gonna see how far you can make it past your toes or how close to your toes you can get and record that score. The last test that we're going to be doing is weight and body composition. You can find a scale at stores that will measure your body composition through bioelectrical impedance. Please make sure that you read the precautions before you do the bioelectrical impedance portion. Congratulations, we're complete with our fitness assessment. Now all that remains is recording our scores. I prefer to log into Google Sheets in order to do all of my recordings. This saves automatically and all I have to do is sign into my Gmail account and I can access it from anywhere. I type in all of my fitness tests in column A and I record all of my scores in column B. Add a date to the top of column B and remember to test yourself about every eight weeks to look for improvement. Remember that the first rule of fitness is to enjoy the experience. Keep looking for ways to make it fun.